at the beginning of your shift, or when you switch vehicles, you'll need to log into field service. Let's get logged, in. You'll click on the field service icon. You'll enter your username and password that was provided to you. As a note, your username is in the form of an email address, such as your technician number at ace.aaa. Next, click on Login. This box will always appear. Only select the checkbox if you have already clicked an email link to set a new password. Otherwise, simply click the Next button. Then, you'll click on the truck type that you will be driving. Click the Next button. Remember, Field Service routes the service appointments to you based on the skills of the vehicle you are driving, not on your personal skills. Therefore, it is important to select the correct vehicle that you will be driving. The list displayed will reflect the vehicles at your station. Then, click on the Next button. This is the Field Service home screen. The next step, which is very critical for Field Service to function as designed, is to launch Glimpse. Glimpse is a system that shares your real-time location and estimated arrival time using GPS tracking. To launch Glimpse, click on Actions. Click on Launch Glimpse. Great, you are now ready to start receiving service appointments. Before we go any further, let's look at this home screen. At the top of the screen, there is an option to change the information displayed. The first option allows you to display your previous service appointments. This is helpful because it displays a history of calls that you have run. This feature allows you to view information on a previous call should you need it. The next option is the default option. This option should always be selected unless you are updating a previous call's information. This option only displays the call that you are currently working on. If you do not have a call, then there will not be any calls displayed. As in our example, the next option is currently not available. To get out of here, simply click in the gray area. The next option is the calendar. The calendar is a quick way to select a date to view previous calls. You can do that by simply clicking on the date. To get out of here, simply click in the gray area. The middle of the screen will display the service appointments that you will receive. As a note, throughout this training, the words service appointment and calls will be used interchangeably. They mean the same thing. Next, the bottom of the screen displays icons for navigating. The lightning bolt, or actions menu, will bring up different options based on what status you are in, in your service appointment. You will see these options in other videos. The schedule icon will bring you to your current service appointment. The inventory icon is currently not used. The notifications icon will be highlighted when you have new calls, or when a call has been cancelled. And, lastly, the profile icon, will be used to schedule your breaks, sync the data on your tablet, and log out of field service. That's all there is to logging into field service, glimpse, and navigating around the system.